guys, Patty from Little Red Southern Kitchen, and today we're going to have Parmesan Garlic Spaghetti Squash. Now, I've got a couple of cloves of garlic. Now, one of these cloves are really big, so I'm going to count that as two, and then a regular normal size one. We're going to need some Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper, the spaghetti squash, of course, butter, I want to put some chives in it, and some olive oil. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go wash and dry this off pretty good and cut it in half and then come back for this next segment. All you're going to need is your spaghetti squash and your olive oil and a prepared uh, baking sheet. All right, be right back. Okay, we're back. I washed and dried this off. I rinsed it off and dried it. And I had to get Tony to cut it in half. Uh, and, and scrape the seeds out. What he, did, what he did was scrape the seeds out really good. Now this is a really big spaghetti squash and the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven to 375. Before I get started, today is Monday, even though y'all won't see this till tomorrow on Tuesday, we had our eclipse today. We were able to see 100% of it. Unfortunately, we had a cloud. It was very cloudy, but it did turn dark, and right after the eclipse was over, it started raining, so we had some good thunder boomers. Okay, now you've washed, dried, and cut this in half and seeded it. All you're going to do is take some olive oil. And put in it, what I've got done is I've got a, a baking sheet that I put with some foil. And just bathe this, bathe the sides of it really well. I'm going to go ahead and do the outside too, even though we're not eating outside. But like I said, this one was pretty big. And then turn them over and you're going to put it in your preheated 375 degree oven 45 minutes to an hour what you're going to be looking for is you'd be able to put your fork into it and you know it, you'll tell how it's done whenever you can put your fork through it mine might take a little bit longer all right we're going to get this in the oven in the meantime you might want to mince up your garlic, that's about all you have to do. And we're going to use probably four tablespoons of butter, give or take, on the size of your spaghetti squash. Mine's pretty big, so I think we're going to be using four. Okay, I will get these in the oven, and we'll be right back. As we've got this out of the oven, I did let it cool for a short few minutes. It's, whoops, it's still pretty warm. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your fork and just scrape the insides of it and it looks like spaghetti noodles. This did like, I don't know if I probably just said it, you know how it is with old age. This did take approximately an hour. These are still pretty warm. And the shell will... You will stop at the shell. You won't be able to go through the... The, the skin, the shell of it. Mm. Yeah, it looks like spaghetti noodles. The spaghetti sauce. Boy, this is going to make a lot. As always, I think I bought the most, the largest one they had, as always. I don't even know if my, see how the inside of that. Okay, I'm going to scrape this other one out, and I will meet y'all over at the stove for the rest of the story. Okay, we're back. I ended up having to get a bigger bowl that made a lot more. Okay, in this pan, I've got, I went ahead and used five tablespoons of butter. 
because we have so much and I've melted that down and I do want to tell you I do use real butter and I've mixed up my garlic my three cloves I want to go ahead and add that right now so that can cook a little bit and even though I'm using the what I call powdered the grated parmesan I think it would have been much better with the fresh but what last night whenever well yesterday when we were out I didn't even think about getting any fresh it is so hot and unbelievably hot here right now I did probably 85 degrees during the eclipse it did cool off a little bit Ooh, it's smelling good. Butter and garlic. Okay, while that's cooling or cooking, I'm going to bring this back over and see what this made a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper this. Salt and pepper just according to your taste. I will tell you it does need a little bit of salt, but remember the Parmesan is going to be a little salty. I'm going to go ahead and add some, my chives. Um, this is going to be according, totally according to you. I just wanted to add it. I decided to say it at the beginning, but I'm going to add some parsley flakes too, just for some pretty colors. Let's see, let's start off by tablespoons. I'm going to add two tablespoons of chives for what I've got. If you had fresh. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm just going to add a tablespoon of parsley flakes. It just gives it some color. You could probably make this healthy by not, like maybe using, I can't believe it, not butter, but I think this is a fairly healthy side dish. And change the butter to vegan butter and you could make it totally vegan or vegetarian anyway. I'm going to go ahead and add the butter right now and the garlic. Oops. Hope I didn't get that bitter. Stir that, stir that around. Oh yeah. And add the parmesan. Yeah, I think this would be much better with the fresh Parmesan. Oh, that looks good. Alright, I'm going to serve this up and I'll bring you back and show you everything when it's done. Okay, we're back and here we have it. This is your garlic Parmesan spaghetti squash. Tony informed me a while ago that I said spaghetti sauce. So I wanted to apologize for that if I did. But this is an excellent side dish, and I just tasted this, and it's very good. I hope y'all enjoy it, and we'll see y'all at another time.